एक आईज मेरा नाम डॉक्टर शेरुन है और आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे इस चैनल में जिसका नाम है नीट बडी वे वी प्रोवाइड यू विद डेली बायोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द चैप्टर्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवंथ और क्लास ट्वेल्थ एन सी बायोलॉजी एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम विच वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद एम सी क्यूज टूडे इज दे ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद एम सी फॉर टूडे वॉट डज द डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंट ऑप्शन ए हाइड्रोपोनिक प्लांट प्रोडक्शन ऑप्शन बी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन प्लांट प्रोडक्शन ऑप्शन सी न्यूट्रिन सोल्यूशन कल्चर और ऑप्शन डी हाइड्रोलिटिक प्लांट प्रोडक्शन वॉट डज द डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंट दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ एनसीआर टी वॉट डज एट रिप्रेजेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज हाइड्रोपोनिक प्लांट प्रोडक्शन क्वेश्चन टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट about criteria of essentiality of an element which of the following statement is incorrect about criteria of essentiality of an element element must be necessary for growth and reproduction plants can't set seeds in absence of element element must not be replaceable by another element element must be indirectly involved in metabolism of plant which of the following statement is incorrect about criteria for essentiality of an element the correct answer is statement d is incorrect element must be directly involved in metabolism of plant not indirectly it should have direct role in metabolism of plant question 6 how many macronutrients is there in the following list how many macronutrients is there in the following list थ्री सिक्स फाइव और फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज थ्री माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय आर दे इन द लिस्ट दैट इज कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन दीज थ्री आर माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय क्वेश्चन फोर न्यूट्रिय रिक्वायर्ड बाय प्लांट इन ग्रेटेस्ट अमाउंट इज पोटेशियम मैग्नीशियम नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस nutrient required by plant in greatest amount is the correct answer is option c that is nitrogen is required by plant in greatest amount question 5 element required for synthesis of oxygen is element required for synthesis of oxygen is Man manganese nitrogen zinc magnesium element required for synthesis of oxygen is the correct answer is option b that is zinc is required for synthesis of oxygen question 6 which of the following is not the function of boron pollen germination carbohydrate translocation activation of enzymes cell elongation which of the following is not the function of boron The correct answer is option C. Boron has no function in activation of enzymes. Other three, pollen germination, carbohydrate translocation, and cell elongation, boros, boron plays important role in these functions. Question seven. Necrosis of leaf tissue is symptom of deficiency of manganese, magnesium, zinc, molybdenum. Necrosis of leaf tissue is a symptom of deficiency of. The correct answer is option B, magnesium. Magnesium deficiency results in necrosis of leaf tissue. Question eight: What is the role of zudomonas in nitrogen cycle? Role of zudomonas in nitrogen cycle: denitrification, ammonification, nitrification, none of above. Role of zudomonas, which is a bacteria in nitrogen cycle. The correct answer is option A it carries out denitrification. Question 9 bacteria that oxidizes nitrite to nitrate is nitrosomonas nitrococcus nitrobacter theobacillus bacteria that oxidizes nitrite to nitrate is The correct answer is option C nitrobacter oxidizes nitrite to nitrate 
क्वेश्चन टेन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्री लिविंग एन एरोबिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर इज फ्री लिविंग एन एरोबिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर अजोटो बैक्टर वेजर निकिया रोडोस्पाइरलम थियोबेसिलिस फ्री लिविंग एन एरोबिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी रोडोस्पाइरलम इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्री लिविंग एन एरोबिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स आर एबल टू फिक्स एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ सिम्बायोटिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इज नॉट करेक्ट नोड्यूल्स एक्ट एज साइट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन द एंजाइन नाइट्रोजन इज कैटेलाइज द कन्वर्जन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक एन टू टू एन एच थ्री नाइट्रोजन इज इनसेंसिटिव टू ऑक्सीजन leg hemoglobin scavenges oxygen and is pinkish in color leguminous plant are able to fix atmospheric nitrogen through the process of symbiotic nitrogen fixation which of these statements is incorrect so the correct answer is option c nitrogen is insensitive to oxygen question number 12 for its action nitrogen is requires light mn2 super oxygen radicals or high input of energy for its action nitrogen is requires the correct answer is option d high input of energy question number 13 how many macronutrients is there in the following list you have to tell how many macronutrients are there 3 6 5 for you can see the list there are total of seven elements of these how many are macronutrients the correct answer is option a three are macronutrients carbon hydrogen and oxygen question number 14 the common nitrogen fixer in paddy field is rhizobium azospirillum oscillatoria or frankia common nitrogen fixer in paddy field is the correct answer is option c oscillatoria question number 15 which of the following are most suitable indicator of so2 pollution in environment most suitable indicator of so2 pollution in environment fungi lichens conifers or algae SO2 pollution indicator. The correct answer is option B, that is lichens. Question number one: What is the function of zinc? Option A: chlorophyll synthesis. Option B: synthesis of IAA. Option C: closing of stomata. Option D: oxidation of carbohydrates. Function of zinc. The correct answer is option B: synthesis of IAA. what does iaa stand for indol 3 acetic acid or auxin so zinc is used in synthesis of auxin question number 2 hydroponics is a method of option a study of soil growth option b study of soil protection option c culturing plants in liquid media or option d study of plant growing in laboratories hydroponics is method of The correct answer is option C. It is the method of culturing plants in liquid medium. Question number three: Which of the following two elements are required for synthesis of chlorophyll? Option A: Fe and Mg. Option B: Fe and Ca. Option C: Mg and Ca. Or option D: Cu and Ca. What are the two elements that are required for synthesis of chlorophyll? The correct answer is option A that is iron and magnesium. What is another important role of magnesium? Yes, it helps in maintenance of ribosome structure. And what is another important function of iron? It forms a part of ferroxin and cytochromes, right, in the electron transport chain. So two elements that are necessary for synthesis of chlorophyll, iron and magnesium. Question number 4. Which of the following is a micronutrient? Option A, phosphorus. Option B, nitrogen. Option C, potassium. Option D, zinc. 
which of the following is a micronutrient? The correct answer is option D that is zinc. Question number 5. The total number of essential elements required for normal growth of plant is option A 10, option B 17, option C 19 or option D 15. Total number of essential elements required for normal growth of plant. The correct answer is option B that is 17. Question number 6. In plants, a common symptom caused by deficiency of calcium, magnesium, potassium and copper is option A. Bending of leaf tip, option B. Formation of anthocyanin, option C. Poor development of vasculature or option D. Necrosis of tissue. Common symptom caused by deficiency of calcium, magnesium, potassium and copper. The correct answer is option D, necrosis of tissue and most specifically leaf tissue. Question number 7. The most common ion found freely in the cell. Option A, phosphorus. Option B, sulfur. Option C, potassium. Option D, iron. Most common ion found freely in cell. The correct answer is option C that is potassium. Question number 8. Sulfur containing amino acid. Option A. Methionine. Option B. Glycine. Option C. Alanine. Option D. Aspartate. Sulfur containing amino acid. The correct answer is option A that is methionine. Question number 9. Nutrient required by plant in greatest amount is Option A. Phosphorus. Option B. Nitrogen. Option C. Sulfur. Option D. Calcium. Nutrient required by plants in greatest amount. Correct answer is Option B. Nitrogen. Question number 10. Nutrient that plays a role in pollen germination. Option A. Chlorine. Option B. Molybdenum. Option C. Copper, option D, boron. Nutrient that plays role in pollen germination. The correct answer is option D, that is boron. Question number 11. Chlorosis is seen in deficiency of option A, copper, option B, zinc, option C, calcium, option D, boron. Chlorosis is seen in deficiency of. The correct answer is Option B, that is zinc. What is chlorosis? The loss of chlorophyll, which leads to yellowing of the leaf and which other elements cause chlorosis? Sodium, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, molybdenum, other than zinc. All these elements, if they are deficient, will lead to chlorosis. Question number 12. Nitrifying bacteria are example of Option A. Autotrophs, option B, symbionts, option C, chemotrophs or option D, photosynthetic forms. Nitrifying bacteria are example of. Correct answer is option C, they all are chemotrophs. Question number 13. The organism that converts ammonia to nitrite is option A, nitrobacter, option B, anebana, option C, azola or option D, nitrosomonas. Organism that converts ammonia to nitrite is. The correct answer is option D. Nitrosomonas. Question number 14. Example of free living nitrogen fixing aerobic microbe is. Option A. Azotobacter. Option B. Rhodospirillum. Option C. Anebana. Option D. No stock. Free living nitrogen fixing aerobic microbe is. Correct answer is option A, that is Azotobacter. And what is the example of free living nitrogen fixing N aerobic organism? Right, Rhodospirillum. Question number 15. Nitrifying bacteria converts option A, nitrogen to nitrates, option B, ammonia to nitrates, option C, nitrates to nitrogen, or option D, carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Nitrifying bacteria converts. The correct answer is option B, ammonia to nitrates.
So those are the MCQs for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And for tomorrow's MCQ session, we are going to take up the next chapter following the chapter that we took up today. So that would be all for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching.